The United Kingdom aims to make all new homes carbon neutral after 2016. In the first of a new series of reports from the UK, we visit the Bedzid community in London. Solar cells, a biofuel generator and natural lighting are just some of the eco-friendly features. Although the homes are 15% more expensive than average, residents save about 240 British pounds a year on their energy bill. Colourful wind cowls turning in the breeze are a landmark at London's Beddington Zero Energy Development Community, or BEDZ for short. Using the force of the wind and the indoor and outdoor temperature difference, fresh air is sucked inside through the wind cowls to keep circulation going. And by using a heat exchange system, the expelled hot air warms the incoming cold air so that the temperature inside does not drop. It's warm. Yeah, it's warm. So this provides daylight at the back of the building. The light our nature. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So you don't have, don't have to switch on electric light bulbs. Bedrooms downstairs. Asif Din was one of the first architects involved in the BEDZ project. Following him inside, from the bedrooms to the living room, there's no need to turn on the lights because the south-facing windows let in the sun. And there's no sign of a central heating system because solar panels on the rooftop and windows store electricity while letting sunlight through to warm the interior. In the UK, heating load is a majority of the energy that's actually used within the home. One of the main driving points of the residential units on this site is that all of them had to face south. This allowed maximum passive solar gain into the buildings and reduce the heating load in the buildings. In the community, all utility needs are supplied by a self-sufficient biofuel generator, which is like a mini power plant. Waste wood chips collected from the park are burned in the boiler to make enough electricity converted from the heat to supply the entire community, while the excess heat produced by the furnace is captured for the community's hot water needs. Right next to the residential area is an office block. Hello, is this is Z Factory, a company owned by Bed Z designer Bill Dunster, who has an office, a home, and even a street named after him here. The architect wanted to create a carbon neutral community that was livable and, most importantly, had convenient but eco friendly transportation, which is why the office buildings are right by the apartments, so residents can walk to work. But what if you want to travel outside the community? The site is very much linked to London. It has two bus routes, it has uh, a train station which is five minutes away and also a tram station which is 10 minutes away so it's well served and people can come in and out of sight very very easily and put in the number so you can book it now if you want so edit the booking today is the 18th yeah. and it's 12 o'clock and i want to book it for two hours so until 2.15. Employee Annie takes frequent business trips, but in the community everyone shares the same electric cars, which Annie says are eco-friendly and easy to use. Really rude. I'm just running. There are allocated parking spaces for the electric cars, which can be driven off at the swipe of a card. It's an easy way to share cars with um, lots of other people that live in the area without having to buy your own car and pay for insurance and look after it and maintain it because City Car Club do all of that for you. So yeah. it's really easy to just jump in the car yes. and easily yeah. drive away. Compared to most British housing, these units are 15% more expensive. But Bed Z residents save an average of 240 British pounds a year on their energy bill. And emissions are only 4% of other communities, from the buildings to the way of life. Since it was founded in 2002, in the last eight years, Bed Z has clearly shown that a zero carbon lifestyle is not just a pipe dream.